Look at that. Look at that gold. And you can shake it up every so often, just very gently like this, for about two to three weeks. So now that we've got Don's Gardenia mix, we're gonna use it in the cocktail, of course, the Pearl Diver cocktail. I can't wait. <laughs> I hope that's all there is to it. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> it better be worth it. So, this is a Dawn Beach creation. We've got to thank Jeff Berry here for decoding from an encrypted recipe and publishing Dawn Beach's recipe in his book from 2007, Sip and Safari. Originally, Dawn Beach came up with something called a Pearl Diver's Punch. That was back in 1937. Here's that recipe. By 1947, Dawn Beach opened his Waikiki bar. He made a slight variation, maybe a somewhat stripped down version of the Pearl Diver's Punch. But really, he just cut out the Jamaican rum and substituted Angostura bitters for the Falernum. So it really wasn't stripped down too much, and it certainly wasn't uh, any easier to make. <laughs> I'm guessing it was all about profit margins that made Don Beach change it up. But who knows, really. Anyway, <laughs> let's finally make this thing, okay? Whew. Okay, the day has finally come. And you know what? I don't even feel like making this cocktail anymore. <sighs> no, I'm just yanking you. <laughs> Go through all this work. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Okay, first thing we wanna do, we got our blender going on here. And we've got Don's Gardenia mix. Wonderful, wonderful mixture that it is. Uh, we want a half an ounce. Uh, that equates to a tablespoon. And I'm using a tablespoon because it's pretty goopy here, right? And in the blender it goes. <laughs> Followed by lime juice. And grab a lime here. And what we want is a half an ounce. That's going to be close to a half an ounce. Uh, where's my squeeze here? Big old squeeze. Half an ounce. I want to talk about my uh, shirt here. Um, this was gifted to me by Marilyn, that's uh, Harry Yee's daughter. And what's cool about this shirt, these are all Harry's drinks that he invented. And he even signed it over here. How cool is that? <laughs> Harry Yee. These shirts are actually uh, specially made and sold at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, a hotel in Hawaii. Um, so yeah, pick one up. <laughs> Next time you're in Hawaii. <laughs> you know, I think I'm pretty close to a half an ounce there. Yeah, if you want, you know, you can actually uh, measure it out beforehand. Next is an orange. This one's a little wide for my press here, so I'm gonna do something like this. Half an ounce. That looks about right, right there. Oranges are so juicy, aren't they? All right, get rid of this. Let's add some booze here. Uh, first up is uh, a Puerto Rican rum Bacardi eight-year-old, one and a half ounces. Next is a Demerara rum uh, from Guyana, uh, El Dorado, eight-year-old. We want a half an ounce. Angostura bitters is next. A dash. I like bitters though. I'm gonna go with two dashes. Ha. Perfect. 
grab some uh, crushed ice. I've got a half a cup right here. That's going into our blender. Pop a lid on and we're gonna blend this for like 20 seconds. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty seconds. Oh yeah. Ooh, looking good. And we're just gonna pour this into this wonderful little glass. Now, a lot of times uh, you'll see a taller glass being used. In the movie, they certainly didn't. Um, eh, you want what you want is about a twelve ounce. I think this is about a fourteen ounce. Uh, Jeff Berry actually has a line of glassware that he specifically developed for this cocktail. It's a gorgeous glass, isn't it? And all we want to do is double strain it out into the glass. You're getting mostly the uh, flavor of Don's Gardenia mix without all the, um, the, the solids in there, right? And you just want to give it maybe a little helping hand along the way here. Extract all that juice. Mm -mm -mm. Smells glorious, by the way. Okay, that looks pretty good. And what we're gonna do is just top this drink up with some crushed ice. And you know what? I'm gonna top it up with some blue crushed ice. <laughs> um, I actually uh, made this out of uh, butterfly pea blossoms. Oh, doesn't that look nice? That looks marvelous, baby. And garnish. Um, oh, all these wonderful flowers I picked. Um, it's supposed to be a gardenia. <laughs> it's supposed to be a gardenia uh, leaf or even flower. I couldn't find one here in Canada. Maybe they're not ready yet. So what I've got here is just a lily of the valley. I think it's just gonna poke it up, perk it up. Okay, ooh, what else do I have? Oh, forget-me-nots, forget-me-nots. That's so we don't forget this drink. <laughs> forget-me-nots. Poke those in right here. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That looks beautiful. Ah, and I just picked a little branch of from my Japanica bush, which is all in bloom. Uh, I mean, it has nothing to do with, uh, <laughs> it has nothing to do with this cocktail, but it just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Oh, let's throw him in there too. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Add a little bit more of this wonderful blue crushed ice. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the color contrast, how beautiful is that? And the crowning glory is a little, uh, little, flour made out of uh, a lemon, even though there's no lemon in there. Wow, where am I gonna put this thing? <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, and an umbrella. Cha-cha, I don't know, something like that. We made it. <laughs> and you can make it too. Let's give it a go. I need a little straw to poke in here. Mm. Wow, that is so rich and delightful. Really uh, rum driven by, uh, by all means. I love the blue uh, butterfly pea blossom ice I made. It doesn't really add any taste at all. It just looks cool. It's not in the original recipe, but it just looks cool, doesn't it? Anyway, ah, it's somewhat buttery too. Mm, I liken it. Very complex drink, it really is. The more I sip, more I'm, I'm getting some of that vanilla, I'm getting some of that cinnamon going on in there. It's delightful. You know, Don's Gardenia mix is an integral part to the Pearl Diver cocktail. It only calls for a half an ounce, but in the future, you know, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Gardenia mix to sweeten it up a bit. It's a personal preference. This is absolutely delightful. And such a pretty, pretty cocktail, isn't it? Loving it, loving it. You'll love it too. <laughs> it's been a hell of a journey, hasn't it? So enjoy. Mm -hmm. For your next tiki party. Ooh, tiki party.
Where is my, oh, f my scoop? It's like more like a 12 day episode. Mm -mm. This is <laughs> really a delight. It's, it's diluting to the point now where it's just absolutely delicious. Um, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Oh, and hit that little bell so you get notification uh, every time we do a new show. Check some other videos out too. And mm. <laughs> make a Polynesian pearl diver cocktail. And don't kill anybody along the way. <laughs>